Hi friends, are you ready to learn reactivity series of metals in a way that you will never forget for the rest of your life? Here is the special mnemonic. Please stop calling me a zebra. I truly like her calling me super powerful giraffe. You must be thinking that's a song of animals. Let's see how this mnemonic will help us remember the reactivity series of metals. Metals are arranged in a reactivity series with metals of high reactivity at the top and metals of low reactivity at the bottom. So reactivity of metals decreases down the list. And our mnemonic was, please stop calling me a zebra. I truly like her calling me super powerful giraffe. Here please stands for potassium. Stop for sodium, calling for calcium, me for magnesium, A for aluminium, zebra for zinc, I for iron, truly for tin, like for lead, her for hydrogen, calling for copper, me for mercury, super for silver, powerful for platinum, and finally giraffe for gold. So as you can see, Potassium is the most reactive metal since it's at the top of the list and gold is the least reactive since it's at the bottom of the list. Now in some books you might see some variations like platinum is written as the least reactive metal instead of gold. But one interesting question is what is Mr. Hydrogen doing in this series of metals? Because hydrogen is a non-metal, it's a gas. But remember, it has an electropositive nature and shows some chemical properties like metals. That is why it is found in this reactivity series of metals. This reactivity series can be used to predict single displacement reactions. So it's very useful. And remember, in a single displacement reaction, one element displaces another element. But remember that only a more reactive element can displace a less reactive element based on this reactivity series. For example, what will be the reaction when zinc reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid? In the reactivity series, zinc is above hydrogen. So zinc will displace hydrogen in the acid and we'll get zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Basically, zinc tells hydrogen to get out and displaces it. Now, what will be the reaction if silver reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid? What do you guys think? The correct answer is no reaction. Why? Because silver is below hydrogen in the reactivity series. So silver cannot displace hydrogen. So hope you guys understood the concept of reactivity series and like this mnemonic that we learned today. If you guys know some other interesting mnemonic, do share it in the comments below. And please hit the like button and share out this video with your friends. And if you still haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. We also have a Hindi channel. It's called Manocha Academy Hindi. So stay connected with Manocha Academy and keep learning. And do check out the full courses for physics, chemistry, biology, maths and computer coding on our website manuchaacademy.com i'll put the links below hope you like it and happy learning